St Ninian's High School is one school on two sites, as it has been since 1985. Formerly, our lower school was to be found at Park Road. Now we are able to enjoy the modern facilities and fantastic um, situation we have here at the new lower school at Bennett Haig, as well as continuing to enjoy the more traditional facilities at our upper school at Balakway. During the ceremony today, you will hear many fine words about the work done to produce such a great resource for our students and our community. I would like to add my thanks as well to the team who produced the original scope for this project, the architects for their vision, the builders and contractors for their skilled work, the project team for finding the way forward between what we wished for and what was actually achievable. My deputy head teacher, Rob Cowley, for working tirelessly on our behalf on this project. Our senior leaders in school for helping plan and prepare for this term and this momentous day. Our governing body and community council who've supported us in our plans for the future. And our staff and students who've been consulted on so many aspects of the building and have always come forward promptly and creatively with ideas and solutions. Most of those involved are named in the brochure. However, if I have left anyone out, I do apologize for any omissions. From the beginning of our involvement back in September 2009, and by that I mean myself and, and Rob, we've been very, very impressed with the willingness to involve the school in the big decisions and try to ensure that our wishes were met. Compromises have, of course, had to be made along the way, but I think you will agree, as you see this building today, that the result is stunning. The first half term on this wonderful site has been motivating and inspiring for everyone. I often tour the site at breaks and lunch times on my duty days and ask students how their day has been, what are they looking forward to later on and what do they think about their new school. I have to say I've not had a negative reply yet to any of those questions. I do believe that year eight and nine also really do realise how lucky they are to be able to enjoy such fantastic facilities as we have here at Ben Haig. It is fitting that the drama piece that you'll hear later is not from a special group of selected actors from hundreds of young people. It's a normal year seven drama class in this school from Knox House. And they'll be performing the words that all year seven students have put forward about their view of their brand new school. I'm really looking forward to hearing that um, and seeing them perform. I hope you enjoy it as well. The majority of the students in here today are from our lower school, and I thank them for volunteering to perform for you and help by acting as assistant guides for your tours around the site. Both are very daunting tasks, and I appreciate their support very, very much. Also in the room are our student council, um, they've done an awful lot to help influence the way that this school has begun to prepare for the future. And I have to say, ladies and gentlemen, um, they make me very proud to be head teacher of this school, but also they give me great confidence in the future for our island. We've also welcomed, over the recent weeks, the community to our new lower school. Over 600 parents have visited the site Another 200 plus guests and representatives from many groups have also visited. We will, of course, also be taking you round later this afternoon. And back in March, June, and also earlier this month, over 450 people have said farewell to Park Road. So if any of you out there are thinking about organising some tours around Douglas or wherever, we've got plenty of experienced tour guides to uh, help you out if you need it. Seriously though, it is important we welcome the community to make the most of the 33.8 million investment that's been put into this school. We're determined to make this work for our students and their education, um, but also determined to make it work for the community. And that is evidenced by the almost fully booked sports facilities throughout the week on this site. Add to that the Isle of Man College and community art and craft courses which we run here, 
Uh, the fact that lo a local drama group has already used this stage for a very successful performance earlier this term. Plans for our local feeder primary schools to use this site more often and our staffs on both primary and secondary to work together to help support our students. We had a big inset in here earlier this week for both sets of teachers from both um, sectors. Our students getting out into the local world um, and local community to support and help those less able to help themselves. You can see, I hope, that we are truly committed to making this site work for Onken, North Douglas and Laxey, our catchment area, but also the whole of the Isle of Man, and in particular, its young people. I wanted to welcome you all today and give you a flavour of what we're aiming to do with this brilliant facility. I hope I've managed to do that. The main point, though, is that it is a partnership. Our students, our staff, our parents and our community working together for our joint future. Welcome today, and I hope I can also say, even in these difficult times, welcome to a bright future for everyone. Thank you.